Here's how I knew that it was time to close my coaching business and open a business that was more about speaking and educating using my human design. If you're new to me, I'm Dr. Naima. I help you answer the question, who am I using human design? There's many of you that are in the wrong professions, whether it be as an entrepreneur or not, simply because you think it's what you need to do, but you're not happy. And I wasn't happy coaching. Like every time I had to meet with a coaching client for three and six months, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I did not like it at all. Okay. But then when I really started to get to learn my human design, there were certain things in it that made it real clear that I wasn't really supposed to be working with people long term and that I was really supposed to be educating them and not coaching them through. So first and foremost, I have a five in my profile. You see how it says 11.5, what it, that little sun is? That's the five line, I'm a five line in my profile. It is not a good idea for fives to keep the same people in their environment around them all the time. Unless of course, if it's like family or close friends. Why? Because people don't typically see the fives for who they are. They see us for what we can do for them and who they think we are. When we don't meet that expectation, we become the bad guys. People talk about us. People try to destroy us. There is a whole Facebook group <laughs> devoted to this coach who has a five in her profile of people who hate her. So I was like, ooh, let me, let me, let me be real clear about what it is I do as a five and it's not coaching. Secondly, same 11.5, um, I have gate 11 as my son gate. This is the gate of ideals and ideas. I'm very idealistic in my viewpoints. I want to speak to you about, I want to show you that there's a new way to do things, but then I want to mind my motherfucking business. How you go about that, if you choose to believe what I educated you on, that's not my concern. And as a coach, I would literally be helping you step by step by step. That's not what I'm meant to do. Next, you see here, I have um, gate 12 and my earth gate. Gate 12 is the gate of caution. These people have something powerful and impactful to say, but not all the fucking time. In fact, when they have to speak just because, it typically don't work out for them. So having to meet with coaching clients several times a week and saying the same things over and over and over again is not a good idea for me. And last but not least, my incarnation cross. My incarnation cross is the left angle cross of education. I am literally here to understand your needs and to educate you on a new way to do things to meet them. So, when it comes down to speaking, the two areas that I focus on are inner city children, because if you've been following me long enough, you know that as a child, I've experienced homelessness, domestic violence, and lots of food insecurity. So I want to really speak to inner city children to show them that where you are today is not where you have to stay. And the second part is women, or women empowerment. I want women to know who they are outside of who people tell you you should be simply because you have a vagina. So if you are someone who works for a, a, a middle school or a high school, if you're someone who's putting on women's retreats or if you have a, a mastermind or something geared to women and you are looking for speakers, let's connect.